Hi everyone. I uh, decided to make a video a little sooner than I normally would. Uh, had kind of a rough week this week and uh, went to the neurologist on Monday. Um, and I'm just a little confused about a few things. I guess I figured I, I'd put a video together and, and hope, hopefully get some input from uh, some people that watch these. Uh, the neurologist is telling me that the neck pain is most likely not associated with facial nerve healing. Uh, I've heard some people have told me that when their facial nerve started healing that their neck pain got worse. The neurologist is saying he doesn't see how that would be possible. Uh, I'd really be interested to know whether anybody agrees or disagrees with that or, or what. Um, I, I was really hoping that I could kind of focus myself on the fact that since the facial nerve is healing some, uh, that the neck pain would go away once the, the nerve healed, but if that's not the case, I, I don't know when this is going to ever end. Anyway, uh, the neurologist did give me a new medication. I, I don't know whether anything's working or not. It, I've kind of gone through a period now where the, uh, the pain is not as bad as it was. It's, you know, I still have it every day, but it's not the excruciating, incapacitating type pain as much as it is I wake up and if I move the wrong way, I'm going to be in pain for a while. Uh, anyway, uh, the medicine they, they, that I got off of, I, I don't know, I, I'm either having side effects from the new medicine or the, the medicine I'm off of, or I don't know what, but I'm, uh, I definitely have experience a lot of different physical and mental issues with uh, with these medicines. Um, I'm noticing that uh, coming off of the Apana ER and Illyrica and this Tramadol stuff, anyway, I, I, it, 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 the switch was at the same time. So I got off of that and I'm on this new medicine, I don't even know how to pronounce this new medicine, something similar to Lyrica, but anyway, uh, the I've had problems where I can't sleep. I'm uh, if I do sleep, I'm not sleeping well. I'm waking up feeling like I haven't been asleep. Uh, my mood is just horrible. Uh, I'm constantly feeling very, well, I guess, depressed is the right word for it. Uh, I, I just don't feel myself at all. Uh, my judgment is off. Uh, I'm I'm finding myself making decisions, uh, particularly at work. Uh, where one day I'm making a decision, I go back and I'm looking at it, I'm like, why did I make that decision? You know, I don't quite understand. So I don't know what's going on with me. Um, it's really a messed up place to be right now with all of this. Uh, it's, it's just uh, kind of hard to sort through all this and know whether or not it's the medication or whether it's just it's the cold. I don't know. But anyway, um, I really have had one of the worst weeks uh, this past week, I think, since I've had the surgery. Um, just trying to, to deal with all this on very little sleep, and, and, and thankfully the pain has been less, but other than that, everything else has just been pretty miserable. Um, but I don't know what whether anybody else knows about any of these medicines whether or not that the, they've, they've had any sort of bad side effects from uh, you know, it's so hard when you know the doctors keep throwing no let's try this medicine let's try this medicine by the time you're done you don't know which way's up uh, I haven't felt I haven't really felt like myself since before the surgery but I haven't felt even remotely like myself for the past month I guess ever since they started switching these medicines up and uh, it's a really rough place to be when you don't know whether your thoughts are your own or whether it's the medicine talking. Anyway, um, yeah, so I mean, I've been up since 3.15 3 this morning. Could not go back to sleep because I'm hot uh, when I should be cold, and I'm cold when I should be hot, and I'm itching, and uh, anyway, um, yeah, it's not, not a real good time for me right now. I'm still focused on the positive things. I, Thank God I've got such a wonderful wife and something to hold on to through all of this, and uh, I will get past it all. But uh, this is this is this is definitely not a good time right now. Um, 
so yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say at this point. I'm really interested to know as far as the pain thing. If anybody has any uh, comments uh, about the pain and whether or not they think it would be associated with the facial, the facial nerve, I'd like to know because it's it's uh, kind of unpleasant to, to think about that the pain's not associated with it and the fact that when's it ever going to end? Uh, I mean, the neurologist told me that when they would have done this surgery, they would have had to cut through four layers of heavy neck muscle to get in here. And he said that if that doesn't cause you pain, nothing will. Uh, so he's kind of under the impression that it's one of those things, and eventually, hopefully, maybe it'll get better. Anyway, um, I guess it's at this point. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm babbling and everything. I'm just not real sure. Like I said, I can't really seem to focus and, and think real clearly these days. Um, anyway, hopefully I'll get past this soon, and my next video will be much more upbeat, and hopefully my facial nerve will finish recovering some more. It's kind of gotten to the point where it, uh, it recovered a little, and I uh, still can't blink, and my eyes getting dry recently and really bothering me. I'd really like to be able to take this eye patch off one of these days. <laughs> anyway, take care. Thanks for listening.